Welcome to our daily meditations from the book of Ecclesiastes as written by King Solomon. King Solomon in his final years looks back at life with a philosophical gaze. Let's hear what he has to say about his search for meaning in Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 8. He states, Whosoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. I speak on the subject, be careful of your intentions. Be careful of your intentions. Bob Marley immortalized these words in his song, More Acts. Whosoever diggeth a pit will fall in it. I have always been curious as to why people do the things they do. This is why I have taken time to try to understand the psychology of human beings. It is here we are able to determine motivation, intentions, both of which precedes action. Intention is our desire for or to do something. Motivation, on the other hand, is the reason you have that desire. So what is at play when we, de- when we deliberately set a trap to undermine or trip up another person? Our motivations, our intentions, and our actions are dedicated to doing ill will. Solomon in Ecclesiastes 10 and 8 issues a warning that we should be aware of the fact that when motivation, intentions, and actions are dedicated to do ill will, it could backfire. Solomon seems to be implying that there is some power in the universe that sees the motivations, intentions, and actions of human beings. And of the wicked, the deceitful, the envious, and the jealous. This force for good, this God of righteousness, will foil your plans. The evil that you plan will come back at you. To those who place their motivations, intentions, and actions in righteous pursuits, we can take note of Joseph's words. But as for you, You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. After all is said and done, there is only one thing left to say. Have reverence for God and obey his commands because this is all that we were created for. Let us pray at this time. O God, in all that we do, may you be praised. Fill our lives with meaning. Fill our thoughts with compassion. Fill our words with tenderness. Fill our relationships with laughter. And fill our actions with love. Amen. If this meditation has been a blessing to you, we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pass on our link to your friends and those in your contact list. And please, give us a thumbs up. God bless and have a great day.